Police say that Christian Ingalandi held that girl and a 13-year-old boy at knife point. He then forced them into a secluded area of a New York City park. He allegedly tied up both his victims, raped the girl, and then fled with their phone. The suspect remained on the run for days after that attack until a community came together to take him off the streets. Today's cover of the New York Post says it all, calling the takedown a town hall. H-A-U-L. The suspect illegally crossed into the U.S. We are now learning just three years ago in Eagle Pass, Texas. Joining us now is Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Governor, we're grateful to have you on the program today. First, How you doing? your thoughts on what you have learned on all of this. It is just so shocking for all these neighbors to see what is happening right there in their own community and having to take matters into their own hands. Well, listen, it's a totally a result of Biden's open border policies. And, you know, you're giving one example, but th there are so many others, such as uh, the mother of five who lost her life, at, uh, an illegal immigrant who came from El Salvador and, and Lake and Riley, and the stories just go on. Our Americans are dying at the hands of people that were allowed illegally across the border by Joe Biden's policy. You know, you talk about how uh, this person uh, came across Eagle Pass back in 2021 that Joe Biden allowed in. Be because Biden was using Eagle Pass as ground zero, where there were up to 5,000 people crossing a day, that's exactly why uh, I ordered our National Guard to wire shut the crossing in, in Eagle Pass. No longer do we have thousands of people crossing the border a day. On average, there's only two people crossing a day at that location, and those two people are arrested by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Governor, um, I, I, you know, you, you go through the details of these stories as they come out. Um, American citizens who are harmed, um, in some cases killed, by somebody who was never supposed to be here in the first place or was here illegally. And you look at the, the, the charges um, now against this man, rape, robbery, kidnapping, sex abuse, menacing, unlawful imprisonment act in a manner injurious to a child, criminal possession of a weapon. And you see what they had to do. The neighbors had to step in. They said, we know this guy. They had to then, um, they bound him by his legs with a belt to keep him from running away. Is that where we are? This border crisis has spread so far beyond the border that now you have American citizens having to take matters into their own hands? So you mentioned two things, uh, both of which are prolific. One is that you know, for a while, uh, the, the illegal border situation was something contained to uh, Texas and Arizona uh, largely, uh, but uh, th that's changed over the past couple of years. And now this is uh, a, an American issue. Uh, every state is now a border state. Uh, and then you add to that, uh, the fact of the matter is, under the Biden administration, they have abandoned the rule of law in our large cities across the country. And our fellow Americans, they don't have law enforcement the way that we did last decade. And they are, in fact, having to take matters into their own hands because you can call law enforcement. They may not show up for 30 minutes, an hour, or a day. Uh, and our fellow Americans are sick and tired of it. Uh, and by God, we are insisting on the rule of law in the United States, even if it means our fellow Americans stepping up and doing what they have to do. So what Texas ha has had to do, in fact, because of the open border policies, Texas has taken into our own hands securing the border. Get this real quick, and, th and that is, uh, in the past two years, because of Texas building a border wall, because our National Guard building razor wire barriers, illegal immigration into our state has decreased 75 percent while it's been going up in New Mexico, Arizona, and California. That is a really interesting stat, Governor. Thank you for giving that to us. I also want to get your reaction to this. It's a brand new interview. It happened on this network this morning with Maryland Governor Wes Moore. Um, he faced some tough questions over the rape murder of a mother of five. OK, this is the Democratic governor of Maryland who says he's infuriated by the murder of Rachel Morin, but then refused to criticize Joe Biden and his policies by name. Listen. Hartford County in our state, where this, where this, where this brutal murder happened, is 1,800 miles away from the border. And so when people think this is only impacting a few states, this is impacting every single one of us. This thing is so long standing and there's been a lack of courage that we have been that we have seen for a long period of time in Washington that has allowed this to take place. He placed the blame on Washington. Your reaction. 
So remember this, four years ago, we had the lowest illegal immigration in 45 years, and that's because of policies put into place by Donald Trump. In Joe Biden's first day in office, he used uh, executive orders to eliminate all the policies that led to that low illegal immigration, and Joe Biden opened up the borders, and now there's been more than 11 million people cross illegally, including people crossing illegally and going to Maryland and killing that woman there. Uh, Governor, I want to ask you about um, the president's latest move now touting his plan. This was yesterday, uh, his remarks on DACA. Listen. Keeping couples together who are married, where one spouse is a U.S. citizen, the other is undocumented. They've been living in the United States for at least 10 years. These couples have been raising families, sending their kids to church and school, paying taxes, contributing to our country, living in the United States all this time with this fear and uncertainty. We can fix that. Your reaction to his latest move? Listen, this is the last straw. Americans have had it. You know, we, we, because of Joe Biden's policies, we've had record-breaking illegal immigration that's led to crime. And now this amnesty proposal is a magnet that will entice even more people to come to our country illegally. This is it. Uh, Americans have had it. And uh, to make matters worse, what he's doing is completely unconstitutional, illegal. Texas is going to step up and take legal action and shut it down. Yeah, um, and as you mentioned, Governor, we have live pics of Hakumba, California, where we have seen a lot of activity in recent days. This is our, our flight camera um, provided to our viewers so we can continue to keep a look on the crisis. As you mentioned, this is no longer, Texas is no longer the epicenter. Uh, we are seeing the flow over the border in so many other border states now as this reaches across the country. Uh, the White House itself, Governor, is estimating that as a result of the president's plan, that the number of immigrants expected to be affected by this new Biden plan, 500,000 illegal immigrant spouses, 50,000 Ill illegal immigrant stepchildren. I mean, we haven't even started to talk about the, the medical system inundated um, with those who are here illegally that need medical care. Um, the schools have taken on a huge burden that's already affecting kids who are behind because of the pandemic. I mean, there are problems everywhere. Politically, how does this issue take form as we head to November? Well, for, for one, uh, when the, the cartels learn that uh, more than half a million Americans, not Americans, more than half a million illegal immigrants are getting amnesty. Uh, the cartels will use that to gin up even more business, enticing even more people uh, coming across the border. But politically speaking, listen, th this is a disaster for Joe Biden. Uh, Y'all have already seen the polling about how Biden is underwater uh, with regard to his illegal immigration policies, and this is only going to make that policy worse. And so uh, this likely uh, will, will lead to Joe Biden losing his job uh, because he is going against the overwhelming majority of Americans and what Americans want. They don't want open borders. They don't want amnesty. They want the laws of the United States enforced. And Joe Biden is refusing to do that. Governor, it's always good when you can come on. Appreciate you being here. Thank you, Sandra. Take okay. care. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.